everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have brand new images of upcoming WWE action figures that we're going to be getting for 2021. This morning on WWE.com, they released a bunch of images, like a ton of images that we're going to sit here and go through. I'm going to cover it all, showcase all of the images, tell you guys what I think about all of these figures, what we're getting coming soon this year, and it is a ton of images. We, we're, we're getting some pretty damn good stuff. I cannot wait to dive into it with you guys. So, huge shout out to WWE and Mattel and Ring and all the people responsible for these images because they look fantastic guys i'm not going to waste any more time let's go ahead and dive straight in guys let's start things off with wwe elite 85 elite series 85 we already knew what the set was going to be but finally seeing the images i think we're going to be okay with it starting out first with bray wyatt the new firefly funhouse bray wyatt you guys know that we did get the ringside exclusive bray wyatt and i did not like that figure right well here is the upgraded version in my opinion it looks like they have sculpted him brand new new legs and it looks great I right I actually really really like this figure a lot you will notice that the sweater is slightly darker but he's got double jointed arms look at the double jointed arms I cannot believe they actually gave him double jointed arms he again it, it is more of like a maroon sweater it's not the bright red but I don't know I kind of like this way more to be honest with you I know he's got the orange pants that is accurate to a couple of the tires that he did wear but I like this a lot and not only are we getting the double jointed arms you'll also notice guys that he also has the sculpted sweater so you guys know on the ring side exclusive they they pretty much just gave him a you know a straight up sweater they didn't have anything sculpted on there it looked kind of wonky this one isn't perfect which we'll get into like we'll get into the crotch mold and things of that nature but having that sculpted sweater piece is huge and plus the double jointed arms is is fantastic I actually like this figure a lot the only thing I don't like and one thing I'll either I'll either get a customizer or something to do is I'm probably gonna have to I gotta add a belt to this guy because it just looks a little bit odd maybe they could have done you know like at the bottom of a sweater where it's like kind of tight and it has like the wrinkles kind of like joggers you know that go around it that you know grip your waist or whatever I think if they would have sculpted that around the crotch and you you know you had that a part of the crotch piece it would look like he had a sweater on the whole time or if you put the belt on there that would have also helped it but since they didn't do either it just looks kind of odd how it's just a flat surface there but I like the leg mold I like everything going on and it's going to come with Huskis the pig so I think that is a really big deal as well you can add that to your puppet collection for your Bray Wyatt's but same head sculpt and everything but I still like the figure I still like this a lot better than the ringside exclusive I think it's a more superior figure so I'll take that a lot there is the new elite 85 Bray Wyatt next up guys is going to be Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross is up next and I like what we got going on one thing you will notice guys is his kick pads now I'm pretty sure this isn't Johnny Gargano syndrome I had a lot of people tagging me in this saying this is Johnny Gargano syndrome shaking my damn head look at this Johnny Gargano syndrome I don't think this is Johnny Gargano syndrome. I think he just has really tall legs. Like, this looks like full-size kick pads to me. I don't think this is Johnny Gargano syndrome. I know he's supposed to be 6'4 or something like that, which this makes me seem like... It makes it seem like he's going to be taller than that. When you look at this figure, he looks gigantic. We'll have to see what he looks like compared to other figures. I probably will switch out these lower legs for something else just because it looks a bit wonky or something. But, uh, you know, just to make it look a bit more natural or something. But I don't I don't know. It just I, I don't think this is Johnny Gargano syndrome. I could be wrong about that, but that looks like a full-size kick pad to me. That looks like the AJ Styles kick pad mold. And the Johnny that's not the Johnny Gargano syndrome, I don't think. I could be wrong. But nonetheless, the head sculpt looks good. Arms look good. Tattoos look really good. I like the formula that they chose us for this guy, except for the knees down. I think that that could be a little bit better. But overall, I like the attire. You get the entrance coat. The tattoos look really good and everything. I'm not a big Cross fan, but I still like this figure. I think it'll be a really big pickup. I think a lot of people are really excited for this figure. So Karrion Cross is the next figure in the set. All the tattoo details are insane. Next up is going to be Alistair Black, and he is the Chase variant in the set. And you guys will notice that the Chase variant is not much different. So the one is just solid black, like the non-Chase is solid black. And he has the spike kick pad, spike knee pad, all of that good stuff that we come to expect from the Alistair Black action figures. He has his knuckle tattoos, the lamb wolf. I'm pretty sure the new tattoos on his knuckles are new. Like, I know he had the anti-hero, but I think the lamb wolf tattoos that he's got on there now are actually new. But this head sculpt's the same. I don't know how you'd really improve it. Like, it looks just like Alistair and everything. But I like the Chase variant trunks better, you know, with the, you know, the black stuff with the writing and the cool, like, Blair Witch Project font that it's got going on on the butt. I really like that about the Alistair Black figure. It's, he comes with the sick-ass entrance coat thing. And I'm actually noticing that now in the regular version, there is a graphic on the butt. It's just really, really hard to see. It's like a, 
his trunks are matte black, and then he has like a glossy black logo on the back. But I, it looks like one of his tattoos. I think it's the tattoo in the center of his chest, if I'm not mistaken about that, on his trunks. But nonetheless, there's Aleister Black. I think this is really good. I love the long black wrist gauntlets as well. Next up is going to be Liv Morgan, a part of Elite 85, and I love this figure. It, it looks as, just as good as we thought it would. I think that the entrance robe or the white fur robe that you have right there is really, really sick. I think that we're going to get a lot of good use out of this figure. I like the. I think that I'm going to be able to use this robe for some cool things for the pick fed. Liv Morgan could be making her way over to the MDT women's division when we get that finally up and running, but the women's figures have actually been really fun to collect ever since updating the double-jointed knees and getting everything going and stuff like that, so I like this Liv Morgan a lot. Can't wait to get it in hand and everything, but moving on from Liv Morgan, guys, we also are getting the Walmart Collector's Edition comma figure, and I am loving these boots. Look at these brand new sculpted boots that we got going on with the unique straps and uh, kick pads sculpted on there. I like the knee pad choice. This is a a pretty damn good figure man this head sculpt's phenomenal the hair sculpt looks good head sculpt looks good the chains and everything this comma figure is pretty badass i'll definitely be trying to find this but you guys know my track record with collector's editions is absolutely awful i think i found like one or two ever i can't ever find them so who the hell knows if i'll ever see this thing in person but if i do i'll definitely grab it this figure looks absolutely great Really like what we got going on right here. Any collector's edition collector is going to be happy with this. Next up in Elite 85, guys, we do have The Undertaker. And this figure looks great. The Boneyard match for The Undertaker. You got all the studs and sculpts going down on the pants. I really like the entrance coat that we got right here or the vest that he's wearing. I think it's going to hinder articulation because I don't think you can take it off unless you cut it off. However, I still think it looks really good. I like the head sculpt, the bandana. He does come with a shovel. The shovel looks really tiny in his hands. They're going to go stab somebody. Also, I can't remember if he had fingerless gloves on or, or you know, regular gloves on that covered his fingers. Nonetheless, their fingerless glove mold just painted. So either we're going to have to switch those out for his regular hands that he usually comes with or we're going to have to switch it out for fully blacked out gloved hands, which really isn't a huge deal. It's just something to mention for sure. But there's the Undertaker. Love the head sculpt. This is actually a brand new head sculpt. I didn't get a shot of the back of the head to see what that looks like. I thought he was supposed to have a braid, but I, I'm not seeing a braid in any of these images. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we did get a back shot of the figure. I was I was kind of worried there for a second, but I like it. I like this Undertaker a lot. I think it's going to be one of the better Undertakers that we've gotten in recent memory. And I think the last figure that we have in the set, guys, is Becky Lynch, who is an Elite Series 85. She's got the white money in the bank briefcase. She's got the Universal, not the Universal Championship. She's got the Raw Women's Championship, and it actually is indeed the night after Mania where she forfeited her title to Money in the Bank winner Asuka because she went away to, you know, do her pregnancy deal and be the mother to her child. Haven't seen her since, but that's the attire that I thought it was. I literally said this in many videos leading up to the case, and there we go. It's it's confirmed. There it is. Elite 85 Becky Lynch is that. Like the head sculpt. It is a new hair mold. I think it looks great. I really like this figure a lot. Is that double-jointed arms? Th dude, those are double-jointed arms. Oh my god, there's those those are double jointed arms. That that Becky Lynch has double jointed arms. Wow, I'm speechless. You just heard me speechless right here. This may be this this is going to be better than the Ultimate Edition. This figure right here will be better than the Ultimate Edition. And imagine if you could interchange the shoulders with the Ultimate Edition jacket and then slide the jacket on there. This is a figure to watch. This may be the best women's figure ever made up next to Ronda Rousey. We'll have to see about that, guys. But nonetheless. That is Elite 85, and oh my god, it has double-jointed arms. I just realized that. That's, that's insane. Next up, guys, we're getting into Ultimate Edition Series A, starting out with Edge. Now, this is a figure you guys know that I have been waiting on for a very long time, and I don't know if I like it. I honestly, I think I'm going to like it a lot if I switch out the torso. I'm not really feeling this torso. First of all, it just looks kind of flat, like there's no chest hair, there's no nothing like that. Um, I'm definitely going to switch out the torso for an Elite Cesaro torso that I did on my Elite 83 fix-up. I like this head sculpt, just the blank stare. And then this this picture where he's got his arms behind his head looks hilarious. He looks like a damn GQ model or a Calvin Klein model or something like that. I thought that was hilarious. Trench coat looks fantastic like we thought. The one interchangeable head sculpt where he's like yelling and his hair's blowing back. It's like a spearhead or like a you know, a crazy head sculpt. I actually like it. I think that, you know, it's going to have to call for a different moment or something, or maybe you could switch that out 
with his other hair piece and maybe it'll look even better so that is something to watch but the interchangeable arms with the jacket arms and the trench coat and everything looks really really good I actually like that a lot and that is one thing if you switch out the torso I don't think you'll be able to interchange the arms I don't think so that'll be something that kind of ruins it so maybe I'll have to buy a couple do some different fix-ups and swaps and stuff use one for the entrance one for the ring or something but nonetheless the edge I, I do like it. It's just a little bit underwhelming for me. I think once we do some fix-ups on it, it'll look a lot better, but I am glad to have this Ultimate Edition Edge, and I really like the trench coat that we got. The other Ultimate Edition in this set, guys, is going to be Macho Man. Now, when we first saw this figure, you know, the render image, I wasn't really feeling it. I think it looks a lot better now that I see it with the pink and yellows. You got the white jacket in there, the cloth jacket. You got the glasses and the hat and the interchangeable heads. This Macho Man looks okay. I, I like it. It's not the best in the world, but it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I like all the neon that we got going on. You got the double jointed arms. I like the interchangeable head sculpts. I think it looks like Macho Man a lot. But nonetheless, there is the Macho Man and the Edge. You guys can let me know down below. I honestly feel like it's kind of an underwhelming set of Ultimate Editions. I was really hyped for them, but now I feel a little bit underwhelmed with the overall product of both of them. But I don't know. We'll have to wait till we get them in the hand, see how they feel, see how they compare. But this next two-pack, guys, is absolutely insane. We have Triple H and Jeff Hardy from SmackDown, and look at this two-pack, bro. Look at the packaging. Look at the freaking Hardy jersey. I used to have that jersey when I was a kid, and I wore it all the damn time in my backyard. I gotta have this, and I gotta have, like, two or three of them. This thing is immaculate. I love this head sculpt. It reminds... Like, I feel like it's 2001, bro. Like, when I see this, I think of my childhood, and I think of 2001, 2000, and I'm a kid, and I remember getting all the Jacks, Jeff Hardy figures, and the jersey, and the Triple H with the gold, and the... Oh, dude, this is nostalgic as hell right here. I love this Triple H. I love this Jeff Hardy. The mesh shirt with the red, with the red patches going around, dude. Just think of the fix-ups we can do with this head sculpt and, the, and this mesh shirt and the jersey and just my mind's going rampant with Jeff Hardy fix-ups but I gotta grab like when this goes up for pre-order I may have to just bite the bullet and buy as many as I possibly can the packaging is absolutely sick all the different the the shirt is so sick I can't wait to get more mesh shirts in the future the Jeff Hardy jersey is really throwing it over the top the hair looks fantastic this is just one of those things that I am in love with. This this, this right here made my day. If we didn't get a single other reveal other than this one, my day would be made. So I love that. The Jeff Hardy, the Triple H, they both look great. Can't wait to get them in here. But not only do we have Elite Series 85, Ultimate Edition 8, and this 2-pack, guys, we also have a look at the new Fan Takeover set, starting out with Johnny Gargano in the Wolverine gear. And would you look at the kick pads, Brad? No longer do we have to deal with the Johnny Gargano syndrome. He has been cured, and it wasn't by Dr. Whitekiss this time, Brad. Mattel went in there. Fixed him up, got him some regular sized kick pads, and now he's looking like a damn champion. This Johnny Gargano figure is perfect, except for the slashes on the chest. Couldn't do that for copyright reasons, I'm guessing. This is a damn good figure, man. Look at this entrance vest. Look at the tights. No Johnny Gargano syndrome. You, you easily could just switch out his lower legs with black, you know, like the Miz lower legs or the X-Pac lower legs in the set you could even switch them out for. This looks fantastic, unless they... I don't know. We'll get into that. This Johnny Gargano looks amazing. I am loving everything about it. Right torso. Same head sculpt, you know, but I don't know how you beat that head sculpt. Head sculpt looks just like Johnny Gargano. What else do you want? I, I like this expression over giving us some goofy-ass expression. This is a perfect Johnny Gargano figure. No doubts about it. Even has the wrist tape there or the gauntlets with the, with the Wolverine claws. Holy sheesh, dude. This is a figure of the year contender by far. Not even close. But another figure in the set, guys, is going to be Christian. Now, we know, we know the problem with this, right? They went with the Hit the Switch Christian instead of the WrestleMania 20 Christian. He's going to come with the World Heavyweight Championship, hit the Switch t-shirt. And while I will say, I wanted the, the WrestleMania 20, like no doubt about it. And that one came in third, bro. I'm going to show you the back of the packaging. Edging Christian came in second, Money in the Bank 2011 won, and then WrestleMania 20 came in third. Blasphemous. 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 I would also guess that you guys know when we get images like this, this means that a lot of this ish is about to come in like in stock so literally if you're watching this right now i would uh go ahead and add a tab or or go ahead and prep yourself because as soon as you finish watching this video go put in all your pre-orders because i bet they're going to be up use promo code md toys but this christian figure looks okay i like the christian figure it's just damn this should have been wrestlemania 20 
There's no doubt about it. I still like it. I still like everything going on. The new head sculpt and everything is fine. I just really wish that it would have been the WrestleMania 20 attire. But you get the interchangeable hands, World Heavyweight title, hit the Switch shirt, whatever. But let's move on from this figure, guys. NWO X-Pac in the house. I like this figure, too. I think this head sculpt looks great. NWO shirt. He got the NWO attire. I personally voted for the X-Factor attire. It didn't quite win. I think it lost by like 1.4% or something like that. This is, of course, from the early 2000s, around 2002-ish with X-Pac here in the NWO gear. And, you know, it's not bad. I like it. I think it's cool. I definitely wanted this or the X-Factor instead of the other. But I still like this nonetheless. All the NWO stuff. You get the cane interchangeable match. You get the crotch chop hands. Two sweet hands. Really cool stuff. Bandana. Not a bad figure whatsoever in the set. But then the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be Randy Orton. And I love this Randy Orton, man. They actually ended up going with the WrestleMania 20 attire. So I guess the, you know, it's the Rock and Sock match with Evolution from WrestleMania 20. This one, by far and away, won the vote by like 8% or 5% or something like that, which is crazy. Over Backlash 2004. Backlash 04 would have been much better. We could have got the Evolution shirt. We could have got the Bob Wire Bat or a Steel Trash Can, Intercontinental Tie. Like, they're... Like, there was a, that could have been such good stuff about it, but nonetheless, I still like what we got going on here with this figure. I like the attire. I like the head sculpt. I like it. It does come with a new microphone and the older Intercontinental Championship, but nonetheless, the Randy Orton looks fire. I love Randy Orton. You guys know my overwhelming collection. This is an attire I do not have just yet, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing Randy Orton, and I cannot wait to uh, get him in hand here, but... I think we have a few more basics here before we get out of here, guys. That is going to be all of the images, but let me know what you think of the fan takeover set. I think overall it's a really damn good set, except for the WrestleMania 20 Christian that we should have got, but that's, you know, yeah, sometimes you got to build a bridge and get over it. So the last stuff in the set that we got to take a look at, guys, is going to be Basic Series. I think this is Basic Series 118. It's either Basic Series 118 or 119, but nonetheless, this full Basic Wave is okay. I actually like this a lot. We're going to go through them real quick. We're not going to spend a ton of time on them, but we do have Jeff Hardy here, and I love this this t-shirt mold it's like his tight hoodie like it's like the thin hoodie and this sculpt is really good and everything like with the hoodie and everything but this head sculpt's kind of wonky to me uh, it's the same head sculpt except they didn't put any hair on the sides so it's just like his straight back hair and he has no like fade or anything on the sides i may get it just to fade the sides or something which i think this hair is accurate i just think that it's the same head sculpt so it's kind of like eh but I really do like the uh, the hoodie sculpt here on this basic. For that reason, I actually like it a lot. Finn Balor, it is a regular painted version of the Elite 70 head sculpt, which is really cool. You guys know that we did that before. I just took one of the, you know, the demon head sculpts and I just painted it myself. This looks okay. I still, I wasn't feeling it when I custom painted it. This looks a lot better than my version, but I still am not feeling it that much. It's It may be decent for a fix-up or two or something, and it is in his you know, his blue and black gear from NXT, which I like a lot. It's just, eh, I don't know if it's good enough for me to buy it. I, w I You know, I'm still waiting on that perfect head sculpt. I thought it was going to be a re-release of, of the Elite 82 head sculpt. It was not, but we also have the Viking Raiders, and uh, both of them look good. I don't know if this head sculpt, or these, these face paints are any different. It's the same head sculpts. It's just, I think it's different face paints for these. Nothing too crazy going on with it. Nothing too immaculate. I, I'd say go after the elites. I don't know if these are any different. They probably are different face paints at least. Or, you know, the colors of the face paint are different. But if you guys missed out on those, maybe you want to grab these. Probably not. I'd go after the elites by far. And then the last figure in the set is going to be Austin Theory. And holy Christ, man. This looks just like Austin Theory theory this is this is damn good you got the black version which is the regular and then you have the chase variant version in the red which has the uh, you know the red tights here and these head sculpts look just like Austin Theory bro that's insane that looks just like Austin Theory and I'm not a big Austin Theory guy whatsoever but that looks just like Austin Theory like holy crap that's that's pretty impressive you got a lot of something special going on there young man and it kind of fits because he's a young man so it's kind of weird we're like the same age <laughs> but besides that, guys, we had all these figures. We also have a new Toy Belt Universal Championship and a new Toy Belt United States Championship. But after that, that is all of the images that I have to show you guys. I don't know how long the hell I talked. I feel like I've been here for 25 minutes. I don't know how long I was here. But I hope you guys enjoyed all of the images. You guys can let me know everything that you think about all of it down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, let's go ahead and get into our random football shout-out for the day. And this shout-out is going to go to my man Jackson Ray who says, Luchasaurus wears whatever shoes he wants. Brad as he's worn all types for over 65 million years I thought that was a clever comment 
regarding our, you know, our video from the other day when we talked about Luchasaurus's, uh, you know, his weird shoes that he wears in the ring, which I covered in my yesterday's video about some new figure reveals or some new figures we're going to be getting this year, guys. So if you guys missed out on that, definitely go get in on that. But definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles, man. I'm over there right now. I don't think they posted pre-orders live just yet, but they are going to be today. I would guarantee all these figures go up for pre-order because you guys already know that we already have Elite 84 in hand. Elite 85 is going to be following very soon. So I'm guessing that Elite 85, the two-pack, the Ultimate Editions, all of this stuff will be going up for pre-order. And I think the Fan Takeover line is Amazon exclusive, so I guess you just got to be ready to jump on that. Hopefully my fans can let me know because they y'all do an outstanding job of letting me know when things go live and I really appreciate that and it allows me to get in on some of these things before I miss them so you guys are the absolute best but huge shout out to Jackson for that clever comment I'm getting the hell out of here guys let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below but subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and don't cross the line <laughs>